So I don't know about you guys, but I don't really use TikTok that much. And I'm starting to get into it now, but I'm more of a YouTube shorts kind of guy. I just, I, that's what I got into. The algorithm just fits me so well. But my girlfriend, on the other hand, well, if she's not playing Animal Crossing, if she's not doing her schoolwork, she's on TikTok for about six hours every day. So I thought of something really fun and cool. And it's gonna be like a brand new segment. And uh, Francesca, if you're watching, I love you. But I just wanted to say this. It's uh, everything she sends me on TikTok is hilarious. So what I thought of was something really cool. And I'm calling it TikToks My Girlfriend Sends Me. Now I'll be doing three per episode on this segment. And these are gonna be videos that I haven't seen. Like whatever I'm showing you today, this is the first time we're both watching it. Maybe not for you guys, cause you probably already saw it, but if you haven't, then we'll both have a good laugh. So I'm gonna just pick randomly. I already have three here that I'm gonna pick. So uh, I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna mute myself and put it up for you guys to watch, okay? So let's watch it. Are you guys talking about Spider-Man, the new one? You guys are totally not gonna believe me, but Stanley's actually my grandpa. No, literally, before he died, he put in his will, like, what happens in New Way Home. I swear I won't spoil it for you guys. I haven't even seen the movie, but I already know what happens, which is crazy. Oh, no, like, I wasn't close with him. Like, I don't have pictures with him or anything. But, like, like I was always his favorite. Like, even as, like, a baby, my mom would always say, like, he would, like, take me over to his house and stuff like that. And, like, I'm at the top of his will, so I'm probably gonna get, like, all of his money. Mm. Yeah, my cat is really cute. What's actually, you're never gonna believe this. But like someone that studies felines came over to my house was like, your cat looks so weird. And I was like, really? And she took tests of her and found out she's a super rare breed of cat. And she's like, your cat's probably worth like 50K. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm not going to sell her obviously, but that's crazy, huh? Oh <laughs> okay, so <laughs> a little backstory for you guys. Why I know she why she sent that. So I'm not going to say his name. We're going to just call him, we're just going to call him Mr. X. Kind of like Molly's game, which everyone knew it was about Tobey Maguire. And everybody watching this, who I grew up with, is gonna be well, like, we'll know exactly who I'm talking about. I grew up with this guy who used to lie through his fucking teeth. Everything he would say, he would just lie, lie, lie. You know, one time we were grade six, so we were not even that tall. And like, I don't know, we're maybe like, I, I, I can't even put the, the feet on it, but I'm just gonna say we're pretty short. This guy said he can dunk a 12 foot net. A 12 foot net. Do you understand how, I don't even think now, I'm not even that tall now, but I'm definitely taller than when I was. I still can't even touch a 12 foot net. I can't dunk on that shit. This guy is claiming that. So we put his money where his mouth is. My friend, my neighbor has a basketball net or he used to, not anymore. And we said, hey, Mr. X, why don't you go dunk that? That's about 12 feet. And actually it wasn't even 12 feet. I think it was like 10 feet. Oh, I could do it. I could do it. Try to jump it. Couldn't get it. They're one, twice, you know. Third time, couldn't get it. Uh, I think it's the, I think it's the driveway. It's a little bit uneven. I, I, I don't know. It's a little on the slant. Do you guys notice that? I don't know. I think I pulled, I don't know. I pulled something. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for it. You guys put me in the spot for this right now. Well, you, you, you lie. And there's another time. Oh, this is the best. So I'm not sure if you guys have, you guys done this, but in grade 12, there's a thing called S trip. You go on, you know, to Punta Cana, or you go somewhere, right? For, with the class. This guy went. And he said he hooked up with 24 girls in the week. Right. Now, if you break that down, I have a calculator right in front of me. 24 girls, even just making out. He didn't say he had sex with. Let me just figure this out for you. 24 divided by seven. Okay. That's that's three and a half girls a day. So I, I don't know where the half is. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, you know, each girl's a make out. Then maybe the half is a peck or on the cheek or something or. <laughs> maybe like a, a, I don't know, a dry hand job. I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly, but we're just going to go with three and a half. You're telling me this guy, even three, even two a day. What, what is this guy? John Stamos? Like you can't get any girl he wants. What is he? Rob Lowe? Come on. So anyways, the next one we're going to show, let's see right now. All right. My New Year's resolution is for the world to know my name, Marcus Pork, hashtag famous Marcus. My New Year's resolution is. Okay. That was really quick. That was a quick one. Wow. All right. Well, that was very, very cool. What a king.
as my, as my girlfriend wrote here, she wrote King. So famous Marcus, Marcus Pork. And let's see how many likes this got. This got 376,000 likes. Wow, good for this guy. He seems like a very genuine guy. He's like a nice little nonno, you know what I mean? I love the nonno, you know, they're so wholesome. You know, you go up to them, they have all these stories, they're so wise. I feel like if I sat down with that guy, it'd be the most genuine conversation ever. He just, probably so full of wisdom. I don't know, famous Marcus. If you're watching this, God bless you, man. I, I wish the best for you. And the last video, she wrote, I can't do this today. Let's see. Today, we're going to make grape jelly salsa meatballs. So let's get started. Hold on a sec. Are you guys hearing that? Grape jelly salsa meatballs. First, we're going to add in a jar of grape jelly. Okay, well, it's just... Yeah. Next, we're going to add in our jar of salsa. Oh, it's coming out like Fat Bastard when he takes a shit in, go in uh, gold member, remember? On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I don't remember eating any corn. All right, analysis. Oh, it smells like carrots and throw up. Oh, that oh. could gag a maggot. I smell like hot, sick ass in a dead carcass. Oh, even stink would say that stinks. You know when you go to an apartment building and you smell other people's cooking on each floor and you're going, what are they cooking? That plus crap. I use mild. He shoes his mild, but after eating that, it's gonna come out hot. Black powder. Onion powder. A little bit of ground mustard. We're gonna combine this. Start as much as we can. That's what good sounds like. Mama. That's what good pussy sounds like. Jacob, I told you to put say in that. Not to talk like that. Fuck you. Next, we're gonna add in our meatballs. Aww. Hey, I'm not even homemade meatballs. Cover them up, cook for a couple hours. Why would they wipe? When it's done. Were they freezer burned? Cooked to perfection. That's disgusting. Four hours. I can't even finish this. That's Don't disgusting. Look good. She goes, I can't do this today. I can't do this every day for the rest of my gosh darn life. Holy, well, that was fun. That was fun. I like this. I like this segment. I think we're gonna do this more often. So, yeah, I don't know. Leave me your thoughts down below what you thought about that and which was your favorite. And if you guys want me to review any of your TikToks, send them in. Maybe I'll do that as just like a, as a bonus thing. You know, three, my, three of my girlfriend when she sends me and then one from a, a subscriber. So send something in and uh, if you want to get featured on the channel or my Instagram page, yeah, send anything you want. I'll review it, guys. But until then, I will see you guys on the next one and take care of yourselves. Remember great power comes great S uncle ben please stop lecturing me remember with great power comes great responsibility are you afraid that i'm gonna turn into some kind of criminal quit worrying about me okay something's different i'll figure it out stop lecturing me please